If you're new to actions, this video is the perfect place to start. I'm gonna walk you through what actions are and a few basic actions to get you started. First, you'll wanna start in your builder and click on this actions tab. Now here you'll see the option to create your first action. Now an action is basically just a rule that tells your page what to do. So you're gonna notice two things here. You're gonna see a when any and a do this. So on this side, we're gonna set a trigger and on the right side, we're gonna set a result. Let me walk you through an example so you can see what I mean. The first action I'll show you, which is a really common action, would be a date-based action. So we could say when any date is after, and you could set any date or time here, then do this. And so for this example, I'm gonna increase the price. This is the perfect way to create an early bird pricing option because when the date passes, I can increase the price $10 automatically. Boom, it's done. Another really common option would be a show hide action. You can use actions to show certain options when certain things are selected. So for example, I could say when a standard ticket is selected, then show the t-shirt option. Now a few things to note about actions. First, they work from the top down. So if you have any actions that apply, for example, if you had another price increase, you'd wanna make sure that you put them in the right order. You can click and drag actions after they're created to switch the order easily if needed. Second, actions automatically assume that the opposite is true. And so here's what I mean by that. This action says when a standard ticket is completed, show merchandise, which means unless a standard ticket is selected, merchandise will be hidden the rest of the time. You don't need to create actions that tell it to do the same thing. So essentially, you don't need to create the hide version of this action. The best way to test and see if your actions are working is to click preview. Preview mode functions just like your live page, so you can test it out. So in this example, I'm gonna select a standard ticket, and I can see, boom, my merchandise appears on the page. If I don't select a standard ticket, it goes away. Third and finally, actions are gonna pull in the options that you already have on your page builder. So anything that you have set up here is gonna be reflected here. So if you're wondering where to get started in pulling these options into the actions tab, you first wanna start by building out all of your options here in your page builder and then use your actions to customize them. That should be enough to get you started. Have fun.